Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. Um, I'm just doing a quick scrapbook page today, but um, I wanted to show you how I did this. I don't know if you could see it very well, but it's um, the thicker sticker chipboard um, inked and then embossed and I wanted to show you quickly how to do that. So let me just get my, I guess my thickers. Um, I'm working on a scrapbook page for my son um, for his seventh birthday, so I need a seven and you know, these don't stick very well so they're all over the inside of the package. T and where are the H's? Oh, there's one left. They're kind of all over the place in here, so well, this one's this one sticks. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is just put them right here on this uh, piece of scrap paper and I'm using Kiwi Kiss from Stampin' Up. And all I do is just dab them with the color and I'm just using um, just a embossing or a dabber. And then what I'm going to do too is also take um, some chocolate chip cardstock or yeah, cardstock ink, I'm sorry. And I'm not, I'm just adding a little bit here and there. I'm not covering it. Just to give it some added, just added interest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is using my um, Versamark stamp pad, I'm just going to ink up my letters and I just do that by, since they're sticky in the back, actually it just sticks to my fingers. Dipping it right in the um, onto the ink pad until I know I have enough first mark on it, and then I take my clear embossing powder and just stick it right in there. Normally I have my embossing powders in the rubber bean containers, but I just uh, don't have any containers left. But so here we go. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it's got a little shine to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the T and the 7. Okay, so this is Stampin' Up's Really Rust cardstock. Um, it's cut at 8x8, and then I have um, some pattern paper, and this I think is uh, Bow Bunny, but I'm not 100% sure. And this is um, chocolate chip card stock, and I use the Swiss cheese um, border punch for this. And I'm going to use it on this too, so let me just go ahead and punch that out. This is one of my favorite punches. Okay, now I got a nice little confetti on my desk here with all those little holes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is assemble my page and let's see. Where? Oh, where? Oh, it's right next to me, but I couldn't find my adhesive. So, what I'm going to do first is to start with the layer of my pattern paper. And I'm just lining that up right at the bottom. And then I'm going to take, um, darn, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to put this underneath the pattern paper so hopefully I can get this off without ripping. And then I was going to put another pattern right here. <clears throat> oh boy. Maybe today's not my day for scrapbooking. I'm making a mess today. But 
see, even I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. And then I just need to add a little bit more adhesive um, underneath this lip here that I messed up on. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, now I still have a, a second Swiss Dots uh, border, so I'm just going to put that right at the top. And that's going to go right up here. Okay. And then I already have um, my picture mounted. This is my son eating his birthday cake. Um, eating uh, on, this is, uh, I think it's old olive uh, card stock. And I just matted it right onto my picture right onto that. So I'm just going to put this right here. And now I want to, and I've already done birthday in the chipboard, so I'm just going to um, put that right on the front of my page. But there's lots of things that you could do um, with chipboard. If you watched my last episode, um, you see that I used the chipboard blade, or the deep cut blade on the, um, for the Cricut, and using cutting chipboard, um, you can use your pattern paper, and that would probably, it's helpful if I spell birthday right, forgot the T. Um, if you're using pattern paper and chipboard, especially pre-cut chipboard, it's going to, you're going to have to do a lot of uh, X-Acto knife, you know, adhere it on and use the X-Acto knife to, to uh, cut it off or cut it out. So I'm probably just going to stick with my Cricut um, and cut out my, my uh, chipboard that way. This way I know I can cut it right out the way I want it. So let's see, I'm just trying to decide how I want this arranged. Mm -hmm. I can't decide. There, something like that maybe. And we have the dot for the eye. And then I have, I cut out a sev the seventh, or did the seventh, so let me do that. So I think that I would just put down the, that down here, or maybe up on the top. So, okay, well I really just wanted to show you that technique, and um, that's all for this time. I'll see you on the next episode of Creations with Christina. Bye!